want to say something to the Mexican one, uh, I mean, nothing for the little hamsters and drug addicts and alcohol, but I want to say something to those Guyanans, the Nigerians, the Sudan, Sudan, the Iranians, even the little one that stands in front of the, the, do his little witchcraft and bad luck thing in front of the gapple tree on Pin Street. Um, I want to talk to the, um, Guyanans, the Ethiopians, the Congans, um, uh, the Republic of Congo. I want to talk to, um, the uh, Afghanis and, and I, I want to, I want to tell you something in Nigerians. Trust me, and the little flat butts from England that think they're untouchable, they're not going nowhere. You guys are shit in America. And trust me, you are not going to destroy the history of our American nation and, the, and my ancestors and the, and, the, and, the, and the royal monarchy. You'll never, never destroy us. Trust me, you are dead meat and you know you're dead meat. So stop acting like you're the most important people in the world. You guys stink. You guys shit like the realistic. You guys are losers in England. Trust me, you guys are never, never, never going to make nothing. America was founded with principles, honor, and dignity. By George, King George, George Washington, and you were, and founding fathers, and you will never, never destroy America. I have a real interesting topic. This topic is my session today. My Saturday session is the gangland. Gangland. So, we are going to go with gangland. So, I want to talk about gangland. I want to talk about the Crips. Um, the Crips was founded in 2007. It was a, I know this is about the hoods of America. But it, um, by 2007, it was a group of 17,859 people. Today, it's a group of 2,789 people. The founder is still alive. He's Dion Landon. He's born in Port of Principal, Haiti. Um, this is a, um, a Bloods and Crips was a, a, a Republican and Democrat rivalry in the hoods. I know it sounds very tr crazy, but he was born on July 1st, 1975. He's 47 years old today. Um, he has no high school diploma, no college. He's a lifelong Democrat. He was, um, he founded it in the Bronx, New York. Today he's a Miami resident on Unit 17 at South Beach in 1102 Collins Avenue. We'll be confiscated from him. Cause you mess with royalty, trust me, not with me, totally. Um, your mortgage there is a $7.2 million mortgage on Chase. Um, you're the director of operations of United Healthcare and you make $775,000 a year. You've been working there since 2007. My, 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 my aunt, my cousin, I mean, my cousin, my sister, I don't care, my cousin is my sister. You mess with her and she had to resign as the vice president of United Healthcare because you were very aggressive for her and you, you were very nasty. And your offices are in Tam um, Sunrise, New Jersey, um, Sunrise and Fort Lauderdale, New Jersey. You were a very nasty little bitch. And you want to pay the price today. Um, the Bloods, um, by 2007, there were 16,589 members. They were less than them. But today, they're only 1,779 members, a little less than the, of the Crips. Um, I, I want to, I want to talk about something. Um, today, um, the Crip, the Bloods never kill anyone. The, um, the, the bloods killed 47 people to put 47 blood in their hands. They, they were arrested today. Um, they died today. And they, they beat up 272 members of the blood, of the bloods to go. I know this is a controversial topic, but this is, I'm going to get to my point in this. Um, the founder of bloods, um, was Diego Cortez Feliciano, August 7, 1995, a life, life, lifelong Republican who was born in Jacoby Hospital. He's a resident of Orlando, Florida, Lake Eola, and he has Chase Bank. Um, oh, and the online has Citibank. He has a checking account of $772.11 and a savings of $2.7 million. So it's closed down right now. All right. All right. So here, you, you guys put the blood in your hands. You guys cheated. So blood to say that you were better. Just like the elections. You want to cheat everything. In America, we don't cheat. You, the Democrats mean cheaters. Trust me. Trust me. I know, I know you won by popular vote, but we, they won the electoral college vote. Um, anyway, so now we want to ganglines. Now we're going to go to Latin and Kings. They were founded in 1997. By 2007, they were a group of 25,779 members. Um, in 2020, and so, but today they are a group of 24,411 members. The founder of Latin and Kings is David Rodriguez Reyes, born on July 1st, 1975, from Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. He lives today in La Base Jame. Awadilla. He has a Banco Popular account. He's a lifelong Republican and he, a uh, lifelong, um, um, belongs to the Partido Popular Democrático, el Estado Libre Asociado de Puerto Rico. Um, and the thing I want to show you, everybody compares the Latin case to Cholos or Puerto Ricans or
the Puerto Ricans or or a uh, Puerto um the Latin kings uh, is a scholarly thing. Latin is not Latino. Latin is a, a universal language of all scholars and, and master graduates and people from sororities and fraternities. It's a language that we learn at home at five, four years old. Latin is the universal language of all. Latin in Portuguese is the loom. In Castellan's language. In Espanol is Latin. In España is Latin. In English is to learn. And to learn, the Latin kids want to show them that they have to learn to be united together. That Latin, that royalty always beats politics. That royalty and, and Latin also means to give. And Latin and kings always give. They don't take from nobody. They always give to everybody. The, the bloods, uh, the bloods, what, the bloods are, 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 are sponsoring the Latin kings of royalty and the crypts just take away from you and take away from you. No matter how, they play dirty and they take away. Kings always give to each other. Latin means to give and to learn. And and that and that's what it means. Kings always give and royalty always wins. And bloods and crypt losses gain and the Latin kings won this race.